Welcome to your exclusive Hydropool Swim Spa Intermediate Workout Program. I'm Jody, and I will be taking you through your workout today. Before you enter the Hydropool Swim Spa, you're going to want to set your jets to a medium intensity for a three minute warm up. This will be about a two or a three. From our fitness kit, we will be using the noodle, the gloves, the dumbbells, and the resistance band. This 45 minute workout is a great opportunity to add some variety to your fitness routine and is the next step up from our beginner program. Our goals today include improving your aerobic fitness level, building strength, and adding a little flexibility as well. We will spend the majority of our time at approximately 70 to 80% of your maximum heart rate, aiming to get the most out of our 45 minute workout. So for our warm up, we're gonna spend about three minutes walking, preparing ourselves for some exercise. Getting used to the water. Arms are pumping front to back here. This is our standing position. So shoulders are over your hips, which are over your knees, over your ankles. We're walking just like we would be outside. Heels are touching the floor, then your toes. As we start to feel our heart rate increasing, let's take a couple deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. This is a really great opportunity to set your goal for your workout today. How is it that you wanna feel when you're done? Take a moment to enjoy your Hydropool swim spa in your very own backyard or basement. So as we start to increase the intensity a little bit, you're slowly gonna start to feel your heart rate picking up. If you're wearing a heart rate monitor, this will be somewhere around 60 to 70% of your max. Let's see if we can get there. The goal of our warm up is to let some of our muscles know that activity is coming, get your blood flowing, and prepare yourself for exercise. If I were to give you a scale from one to 10, 10 being you're working as hard as you possibly can, one being you're still inside on the couch, this will feel probably like a five or a six. Doesn't it feel great to work out in the water? Low impact, lots of buoyancy too. All right, let's move on to our high knees. So we're gonna start by striking the heel on the ground and bringing your knee up so that it's at a 90 degree angle to your hip. Moving a little bit more with intention here. Let's open up those gloves as well. Think about pushing and pulling the water. Connect with your breath. Remember, in through your nose, out through your mouth. So as I said, this is our standing position. Another position we're going to work through today is what we call the neutral position. Neutral position, your neck is just above the water. Shoulders are in the water. Moving into our squats, let's take our feet nice and wide. We're gonna start by just holding our hands in the prayer position. Pressing in through your heels, come up into your squat, and then sit back down. The quicker you go here, the more challenging it will feel. Remember your breath. Inhale as you come down, exhale to press up. If you're finding you need a little bit support with your balance, just use your, your gloves there to help you sculpt. Core engagement and posture, really important. Think about sucking your belly button into your spine, and again, shoulders over top of your hips. About another 10 seconds of our squats. Then we're gonna sit down into the neutral position, start to work through the range of motion in our shoulders. Come on down into that squat. Take your arms nice and wide and keeping the thumbs up. Just think about bringing your hands together in front of you. And again, thumbs up as they come out nice and wide. Feel free to keep those legs moving, knees up and down, or stationary in that squat position, whatever works for you. 
Inhale as your hands come wide. Exhale to bring them together. This is just working through our shoulder muscles. Again, letting them know that some activity is coming. One more exercise before we move on to our workout. Keeping yourself in the neutral position, so shoulders underneath the water, we're gonna jog while punching against the current. Spending about a minute here, you will start to feel your heart rate increasing, which in turn shortens your breath a little bit. Remember, strong core engagement, belly button to spine. Another 30 seconds here, then we're gonna start with our lower body exercises. Arms pumping front to back. All right, let's move on. For the intermediate biceps curl, we're gonna start with an open stance. So one foot forward, one foot back. Shoulders underneath the water. You wanna lean forward slightly so that you can extend your arms straight back behind you. Starting with palms facing down towards the Hydropole Swim Spa floor, bring your palms up forwards almost as if they're gonna come out of the water. The key here, turn your palms to face each other as you slice back. And then again, rotate through the palms, bringing your arms forward. Slice, pull, slice, pull. The inhale as you extend your arms back, to bring your palms forward. This is again another functional movement that'll really help you with things like picking up the groceries or picking up your suitcase. Really important here as well to engage through your core, keeping your hips square to the front of the swim spa. Inhale back, exhale forward. Let's do five. Three, two, and one. For the lat pull down, we're gonna start in a neutral position, shoulders underneath the water. Take your legs nice and wide, so they're wider than hip distance, and your palms will be facing down. Inhale before you go, and exhale, drive the water down so that your palms come to face each other. Again, the slice is the key, so turn your palms to face the front of the swim spa, keeping your thumbs up on the return. Exhale, press down, and slice to a turn. Try to keep your shoulders over top of your hips, and don't forget to breathe. For our intermediate workout, we're gonna hang out here for about a minute. To increase the intensity, pick up your pace. Another option, if you're really feeling great today, is to add in a little bit of a squat. So inhale as you come up, exhale, press the water down away from you. Working those lats really gets you ready for tank top season. For three, two, and one. For our lateral raise, we're gonna start in that open position. So one foot forward, one foot back. Remember, as you go through these exercises, make sure you switch those legs up. So we'll start with our palms facing each other and take a nice big inhale as always before we go and exhale, palms facing down towards the swim spa floor. You're gonna wanna turn your thumbs to face up and slice the water on your return. Here we go, palms facing you, power up, bring those hands nice and wide, slice on the return. Tricky part here is to try to lock up your core, making sure your shoulders stay directly over top of your hips. Palms face down, slice on the return. One of the reasons this feels really challenging is that we don't often hold our hands out to the side. Say, bringing home your groceries, like this. We need to do these exercises to keep our shoulder muscles strong. If you wanna increase the intensity here, feel free to add in a ski. So alternating, one leg front, one leg back. Remember, thumbs up on the slice. Hang in there for another 10. Three, 
three, two, one. For the front raise, we're in a neutral position, shoulders underneath the water. We're in our squat, so feet are a little bit wider than hip distance. Start with your palms facing back behind you and gently bring your palms up, just extend it in line with your shoulders. You wanna turn your thumbs so that they're facing the sky and slice your hands on the return. So back of your palms towards the sky and then thumbs up on the return. Inhale as you bring your arms down to your sides and exhale, press up. Remember here, nice heavy heels and sitting almost hips directly underneath your shoulders. Option here with all of our raises to alternate one hand at a time. And remember, as always, the more you splash, the harder you're working. For three, two, and one. For the reverse bicycle, let's start in our standing set position. Feet are gonna be about hip distance apart and our arms are sculling to give ourselves a little stability. Let's start by shifting our body weight just gently into the right side and lift your left knee up so that it's directly in line with your hip. Kick your heel straight back so it's almost like you're making an L with your leg. From here, hence the reverse bicycle, extend your leg out in front of you, keeping your foot flexed and bring your knee up in line with your hip. Kick that heel back, straighten out the leg so that your knee comes up in line with your hip. You'll really start to feel this one burning in through the hamstrings. To increase the intensity here, feel free to lift up off your right heel, keeping that kicking motion. Foot flex the whole time to make the most out of this exercise. So shifting into the other side, let's take your body weight into that left foot and bring your right heel facing the back of the swim spa. From here, swing your right knee forward so that it's directly in line with your hips. Keeping that foot flex the whole time, you'll soon start to feel this burn in your hamstrings. Using your arms, sculling, shoulders over hips, hips over ankles. Almost there. Three. Two, and one. For our chest flies with the fan paddles, we're gonna start in a neutral position squat. So feet are wider than hip distance apart. Starting with your palms facing down, arms extended out in front of you, slice the fan paddles out to the side, nice and wide. Then turn your wrist so that your palms are facing forward and exhale as you bring the fan paddles together. Inhale wide, exhale to bring the fan paddles together. Engage your core here, belly button to spine. And imagine you're giving someone a nice big bear hug. Good opportunity here as this starts to increase intensity to remind yourself of what it is that you're working for today. Think about that goal and why you started. Remember, slice wide, palms forward. You have the opportunity to increase the intensity by closing the fan paddles, and if you're finding that it's a bit too tough, feel free to open them up. We're almost there. Three, two, and one. For our chest press, we'll start in the neutral position, shoulders just underneath the water. I like to do this one in an open stance, but remember, switch it up. So, if you start with your left foot forward and your right foot back, for the next exercise, switch it up. So let's start with our palms facing away from us, holding onto our fan paddles. Take a nice big inhale before you exhale and press the fan paddles away from you. Turn your palms to face down as you slice the water back. Palms face back towards the jets, press the fan paddles away from you. This is our chest press. Very similar to a push-up in the water. Elbows come wide. Inhale as 
They come wide, exhale, pressing the water away from you. To increase the intensity, add a ski. The ski is when we alternate. One foot forward, one foot back. Remember, press and slice. Press and slice. In this exercise with the ski, you may have the opportunity to get your heart rate up into the training zone. So here, think about 75 to 85% of your max. Anytime you want to slow it down, feel free to go back to that open stance and work through your own pace. Elbows wide, press the water away from you. Inhale to slice, exhale press. For three, two, and one. For the reverse fly, we're gonna start with our fan paddles in hand and palms facing each other. Squat position, neutral shoulders underneath the water. Take a nice big inhale and exhale. Take your hands nice and wide, palms face down on the return, slicing the water. Exhale wide, inhale as you slice and bring your fan paddles back together. Shoulders over top of your hips, heels heavy, toes are light. Palms face down, slice the fan paddles, bringing them together, and then exhale, take your palms nice and wide. Here we're working the muscles in our back, our traps, our lats. Working here in the water is an awesome opportunity to also engage through your core. Working the stabilizer muscles. The movement in your arms really encourages your body to move. So try to work through those core stabilizer muscles, keeping your hips directly underneath your shoulders. I know you're getting tired, but try to hang in there. Here we go. For three, two, and one. For our core rotation, we're gonna be in a neutral position, shoulders underneath the water. I've got the fan paddle closed, but feel free to open it up if you find that it's too challenging. Take a nice big inhale and twist, leading with your shoulder, eyes following the fan paddle the entire time, twisting side to side. Move at whatever pace works for you, keeping in mind that the faster you go, the more challenging this becomes. of all the muscles this is working and supporting our tennis game, our golf game, or even our baseball swing. Building a strong core helps with our day-to-day -day lives as well as our recreational pursuits. Don't forget to breathe. And remember, the faster you go, the more challenging it is. We've got a whole minute here, so move with your own pace. If you wanna increase the intensity as well, feel free to add in a little bit of a squat. The key here will be to keep that fan paddle underneath the water. Let's go for five. Three, two, and one. For the woodchopper, we're gonna start with that open stance. One foot forward, one foot back. I'm gonna start with the left foot forward. My fan paddles are closed, but again, feel free to open them up, whatever works for you. Leading with your shoulder here, you wanna twist one side and then back to center. The woodchopper specifically works our obliques. We're gonna start on the left side. We're gonna spend about 30 seconds here, then we'll switch to our right. Working to keep your shoulders underneath the water. Inhale as you come back to center. Exhale, chop that wood. We're about halfway through, so let's switch sides. Bring your right foot forward and your left foot back. Opportunity here to change the fan paddles if you need it. Lead with your shoulder. Let your eyes follow. 
Inhale as you come back to center. Exhale, chop the wood. Also another great exercise to improve our core stability and work on things for our functional fitness. 10 seconds. For three, two, and one. For our triceps extension, we're in a squat position with our shoulders underneath the water. Bring those dumbbells down so that they're just on either side of your hips. Keeping your palms facing each other with control, bring the dumbbells up towards your shoulders and then extend them straight back. You might find that this is a little bit challenging for the core. So remember, belly button to spine, squeezing. Shoulders are slightly farther forward than your hips. Remember, extend straight back. Here, we're working our triceps. Extend your arms straight back. Inhale, bring the dumbbells up towards your shoulders. Exhale, straight back. Almost like cross country skiing here. Let's do five more. Three, two, and one. For our standing crunch, we're starting in the standing set position. This is one of my personal favorites because it really demonstrates the properties of water. So start with your palms facing down and press those dumbbells so that they're just in front of your hips. Take a nice big inhale before you bend and as you exhale, press the dumbbells down towards your swim spa floor. Some of you may recognize this motion from on land very similar motion on land would demonstrate opportunity to strengthen your hamstrings. Here, we're working through our core, all six fears of that six pack as we press the dumbbells down towards the swim spa floor. Make sure you return all the way to that standing set position each time. If you want to increase the intensity, as always, pick up your pace. Inhale as you come up, exhale to press down. Last three, two, and one. For the intermediate low row, we're gonna start in an open stance. So one foot forward, one foot back. Remember to alternate as we go through these exercises. With the dumbbells in hand and extended out in front of you, make sure your palms are facing each other and using your core strength, press the dumbbells underneath the water. Gently begin to bring the dumbbells back towards your chest, making sure to keep your elbows nice and tight to your core. Inhale as you extend your arms, exhale to bring the dumbbells back towards you. If you wanna increase the intensity here a little bit, add in a ski. So alternating one foot forward, one foot back. This is my personal favorite as momentum really helps here. Don't forget to breathe. Just imagine you're on that beautiful cross country ski trail. Opportunity here as well to extend one arm out in front while alternating with the other back. Let's get back to the low row. Arms together. Let's go for another 10 seconds. Almost there. Three, two, and one. For the suntan superman, we're gonna start with our dumbbells extended out in front of you. Kick your legs back behind you and then quickly bring your knees up towards your chest for the suntan. So here we go, Superman, suntan. Superman and suntan. The trick here is keeping your legs off the bottom of your swim spa floor. If you want that six pack, this is how you work for it. Don't forget to breathe here. 
using the dumbbells for a little bit of flotation, but really engaging the core. Knees up to your chest. Big kick forward, big kick back. Create those waves and make the most out of your workout. Starting to feel the burn in those abs. This is like a seven, maybe even an eight out of 10 feeling here. Let's see if we can get our heart rate up to 75%. For three, two, and one. Continuing on with our abdominal exercises, we're gonna to start to make use of our noodle. So come down into that neutral position, nice wide leg squat. Taking a lean over to the right side, bring your knees up towards your chest before landing them onto the swim spa and switching sides. Bounce your feet off the swim spa floor while alternating bringing your knees up towards your chest. Another functional movement keeps with the range of motion of your hips, knees, and ankles. Inhale as you bring your feet down to the floor. Exhale, bring your knees up towards your chest. Inhale as you fall to one side, and exhale, bring your knees up towards your chest. Imagine you're a slalom skier, going over those bumps. Let's do three, two, and one. Another awesome core exercise is our knee tuck. Using both the noodle and the exercise bar at the front of your hydro pull swim spot. Let's start by taking one foot up at a time and tucking them under the exercise bar for stability. Leaning on your noodle, take a nice big inhale as you bring your knees up towards your chest. Exhale, press back. Inhale forward, exhale back. This is a great way to utilize the exercise bar at the front of your swim spa. As always, to increase the intensity, feel free to pick up the pace. This is adding in both your legs and your core. Now let's press our heels into the swim spa. Inhale forward, exhale back. Starting to get our heart rate up here. Find your breath. Let's do three, two, and one. For our dolphin kick, I've got my gloves on and I'm sitting on the noodle. We're really gonna start to burn through our quads here. We're gonna start by flexing through your feet and extending your legs out in front of you. From here, point your toes and bring your heels up towards your glutes. Flex and point. Flex and point, all while trying to keep your shoulders directly over top of your hips. Really thinking about pointing through your toes as you extend your legs out in front of you. Flex through your feet and bring your heels up towards your glutes. Increase the intensity, pick up your pace. The dolphin kick is a great exercise to help us with things like getting in and out of the car, getting up and down out of a chair. Whatever your fitness level, strengthening through your quad muscles will definitely provide you with benefits for years to come. belt that comes in your exercise kit. 
Engaging your core, press that noodle down so that your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Take a nice big inhale here as your elbows come wide and exhale, press the noodle down towards the swim spa floor. This is a great exercise for those looking to increase their range of motion in their shoulders and anyone working through a shoulder injury. Just another benefit of working in your hydro pool swim spa. Inhale up, exhale, press down. Let's see if we can hold it here for another 30 seconds. As we all know, core stability helps us with everyday movement, helps prevent lower back pain, Inhale up, exhale, press down. For three, two, and one. 